Hi, my name is Johnny Beyer. I'm the Executive Director of the American Banjo Museum in Oklahoma City. Welcome to Virtual at Noon from the American Banjo Museum. If my voice is missing a certain spark today, it's because we're all saddened by the passing of our dear friend, Eddie Davis. Eddie Davis was a serious musician, a schooled musician, who devoted his life to the banjo. But he was more than that. He was a really, really good friend to all of us. He'd come to banjo events and make everybody feel special about what they were doing. He avoided the limelight at those events, even though he could have taken over the spotlight and really basked in it and, and impressed everyone beyond belief. He chose to come to those events and be one of us, be a friend and enjoy our company as well as our music and encourage us to do better with our music. I was one of the guys that uh, he encouraged along the way. Uh, one of my favorite memories of Eddie was getting a chance to sit with him and Ruth late nights at the All Frets convention and play for them. Eddie asked me just about every year to find a corner somewhere where we could sit down and we could chat and I would sit in the background and play along and we would talk about the banjo and stories and different war stories of our careers and that sort of thing. But what he really wanted to do was hear the banjo. He enjoyed the tenor banjo being played in a manner other than the fast and flashy stuff that we normally do on stage. He liked to hear the ballads and some of the pretty chords that were capable of being made on the tenor banjo. And for whatever reason, he liked the way I did them and always asked me to do them. A few songs for him, which was always an honor. Two o'clock in the morning, we'd be melancholy and share our crush of Doris Day and another amazing inside fact about Eddie, as cool as he was, he was a big fan of Lawrence Welk and so am I. So we had a lot in common in those late night sessions where we would just uh, kind of be friends and talk about music. And he always loved some of the things from Hoagy Carmichael and so do I. So uh, I thought what we'd do today is share some memories of Eddie Davis, just like I did with you. If you're watching on Facebook Live, we invite you. Please send in your memories of Eddie Davis, and we'll share them with everybody and uh, get a chance to spend some time remembering that really wonderful man that we lost way, way too soon. Uh, one of Eddie's favorite songs was uh, Skylark, and uh, not necessarily a tenor banjo standard, but uh, I liked it too, so I thought what we'll do here is while you're sending in your memories of Eddie Davis, I'll do one or two or three songs uh, that are special to me from him because it's my privilege to be able to do this show and share some of these memories, but uh, we do want your memories as well. So while you're collecting your thoughts and sending them in, I hope you'll enjoy a couple songs that you normally don't hear on tenor banjo and I don't get a chance to play too often and hopefully there won't be as many mistakes as there might be but uh, if you will hear a mistake or a little flub here and there please forgive me and know they're done in the spirit of friendship and great respect and memory of Eddie Davis. So here's Skylar.
Last year at the All Frets Convention, I had a chance to play on stage, as I always try to get an opportunity to do, and was doing some of my favorite tunes. And usually, as if you're aware of how I perform, they're kind of fast, and I try to make them flashy and make everybody get on, you know, as uh, in involved in the music as possible. But last year, kind of uncharacteristically, I snuck in a ballad. And later that night when Eddie and Ruth and I were talking, Eddie said, yeah, man, I loved your show, but I really loved the slow one you did. And uh, of course he was referring to another uh, Hoagie Carmichael tune, uh, ab absolutely one of the most popular songs of all time. And uh, I don't, again, think it's a banjo standard, but it's always been one of my favorites. And please, again, send in your memories of Eddie Davis uh, on, on Facebook Live and we'll share them with everyone as we kind of get together and uh, mourn the loss of a great friend but celebrate him through music. This was one of Eddie's uh, favorites, one of my favorites, another hoagie tune, which I hope you'll enjoy. It's called Stardust. Last chance I had to see Eddie Davis was when he was in his element. He was playing with Woody Allen at the Cafe Carlisle in New York City just this last December. It's hard to comprehend that just a few months ago he was delighting people and so, so, so full of joy and now we've lost him. That evening we were there with Dr. Ron McLaughlin and Carla Temple and my wife Sarah and while we were enjoying Eddie and Woody and the whole band and being part of this audience that was fully engaged with the music, uh, Eddie pulled his banjo off his lap and pointed to me and called me out of the audience. Uh, to say it was a once in a lifetime experience that was surreal in nature and a tremendous thrill and honor is uh, an understatement. Something for your memory book, something you'll never ever forget. And I was so, so honored to be asked to do that. And especially now that we've lost Eddie, so glad to have had a chance to be in that amazing setting for that 
few minutes that I was up there. Uh, we played several songs, and uh, actually, Woody Allen asked me, what would I like to play, if you can imagine that? And I just immediately gravitated towards a song I knew Eddie would like because he loves uh, Hoagie Carmichael. So we'll complete this little set of uh, Hoagie Carmichael stuff with a song that we all played that night and uh, hope we get through it. Right now, while you're collecting your thoughts, don't forget, send in your memories of Eddie Davis and share them with us all. I hope you're enjoying my little recollections because for whatever reason, Eddie had the way of every, making everybody feel like they were a close friend. And that's the way I remember him, as a close friend, and I'm sure you do too. So share your memories and your thoughts of Eddie while we kind of make it through, hopefully, the Riverboat Shuffle. to share some of my favorite memories and favorite songs with Eddie Davis today uh, with you. It, it's a truly, truly a sad day, bittersweet day, because we know the joy that Eddie took in music and we know the joy he brought to everyone he met. Share your memories of Eddie Davis via Facebook Live and we'll share them with everyone else. For right now, we'd like to take you back to, 19, I should say 2015, when Eddie Davis was inducted for the second time in the American Banjo Museum Hall of Fame. Uh, he was inducted in 2006 for his role in banjo promotion, and then again in 2015 with the uh, four-string banjo performance honor. So what we're gonna do right now is show you, if you're not familiar with the entire story of Eddie Davis, we're gonna do a broad retrospective of his career so you can get a chance to understand exactly why he was such a special guy. So right now, let's go back to 2015 and the Hall of Fame induction with Eddie Davis. Eddie 
As a multi-instrumentalist, banjo virtuoso, vocalist, and entertainer, Eddie Davis, the Manhattan minstrel, is an internationally recognized and respected music master. Although best known for his collaborations with filmmaker and musician Woody Allen, Davis' solo endeavors, infusing the musical potential of the banjo into the genres of jazz, ragtime, blues, pop, and world music, have resulted in a beloved and truly once-in-a-world banjo artist. Growing up literally on the banks of the Wabash River in Indiana, Eddie Davis's first musical inspiration came from listening to early jazz recordings, which intrigued the youngster with their unique beat and feel. Hands-on musical experience followed in high school, where a natural musical curiosity drove Davis to learn to play every instrument in the band. Seizing an opportunity to learn to play the banjo for the express purpose of playing jazz as part of Purdue University's Salty Dogs, by 1960, Eddie Davis's banjo journey was on its way. While the pulse of jazz flowed through his veins by night as he performed as a fixture in Chicago's infamous Rush Street Entertainment District, the early 1960s also saw Davis engaged in serious music studies at both the Cosmopolitan Conservatory as well as the Chicago School of Music. Melding banjo skills, which countless nights of performing had honed to perfection, with a head and heart full of serious music aspirations and determination, upon graduation in 1967, Eddie Davis was ready to take on the rest of the music world. Throughout much of his early career, Davis lived a nomadic existence, heading wherever the wind would blow and the gig sounded interesting. From touring productions of Hello, Dolly and Mame, to the Class of 27 show at Disneyland, to his own Banjos Unlimited show in Chicago, to New York's Red Onion Banjo Parlor, Eddie Davis was living up to his mantra. He worked summers in Las Vegas with piano showman Big Tiny Little, toured with Stanley's Washboard Rhythm Kings and Your Father's Mustache, started a new show band called Whiz Bang, and entertained overseas at the Red Garter in Florence, Italy. Concluding that only one place in the world could satisfy both his eclectic performance fancies while opening doors for the utilization of his serious musical studies, in 1976, Eddie Davis settled down in New York City. This marked the beginning of a prolific period for Davis. He composed, arranged, conducted, and performed in varied venues and settings, including musical theater, jazz clubs and concerts, recording sessions, and even made a foray into musical comedy with his New York Society for the Preservation of Illegitimate Music. While an accurate accounting of all of Davis's activities in the world of jazz could never be complete, the task could not be attempted without noting his long-standing musical collaboration with filmmaker and jazz clarinetist Woody Allen. Through their music, the two New Yorkers cemented a friendship that began on Chicago's Rush Street in the 1960s. As the high-profile member of the Eddie Davis New Orleans Jazz Band, Woody Allen's celebrity status continues to fill theaters around the world and through his films, recordings, and concerts has facilitated the banjo of Eddie Davis being seen, heard, and enjoyed by millions of people.
The banjo in Eddie Davis's hands is capable of any type of music or mood. Whether he is soloing on a romantic ballad, vocalizing on an obscure musical gem, or providing the rhythmic pulse of a classic jazz band, for over half a century, Eddie Davis has freely shared of himself and his music, and the banjo world has never known a better friend. Wasn't that an amazing career? Uh, again, to think that we knew this guy. He was our friend. He was one of us. Eddie Davis, truly, truly one of a kind and already missed in our banjo world. Thanks for tuning in for Virtual at Noon at the American Banjo Museum. Please keep your donations in. Please become a member of the American Banjo Museum. You can be part of all of this banjo world and know what's going on ahead of time as a member of the museum. For right now, thanks for joining us. Thanks for sharing my memories of Eddie Davis. And we'll see you next time. I'm Johnny Beyer for the American Banjo Museum. Bye-bye for now. This is the first time I picked up a deering. And I like the sound of it. And you don't need any more than this. This is it. Shall we? Let's do uh, uh, them their eyes. Sure. See? fell in love with you the first time I looked into them daddy eyes. You got a sweet little cute way of flirting with them, their eyes. You make me feel so happy. You make me blue. No stolen, I'm falling. I'm falling in a great big way for you. You're always looking in, there's danger lurking in them, their eyes. You'd better watch out if you're wise. They're their eyes. They sparkle, they bubble. They're gonna get you in a whole lot of trouble. You're overworking them. There's danger looking at them. Let's do another one. They're their eyes.